Joey. What is it? Legit psychic or not, that neon sign is so tacky. Says the girl with the lava lamp in her bedroom. What's wrong with lava lamps? If you have to ask the question, you already know the answer. Jeremy's notebook mentioned a contact that he followed up with. I think he meant Lisa. Did he say anything else? Maybe I should check it again. That's all for now. Yeah. A definite connection. Connection to what? It says that Jeremy followed up with someone, and whoever it was tried to scam him. Jeremy lost his phone somewhere. I wonder if anyone found it. That's disgusting. Is Jeremy's phone really under all that? Only one way to find out. You gonna help or what? Being dead means I don't have to pick through garbage. It's one of the perks. Right. Found it. Jeremy better appreciate this. It's Jeremy's phone. I found it in the trash. Hi, it's me again. Oh, hello. Do come in. Please, sit. Lisa, I found Jeremy's phone. It was outside, in the trash. It's a public street. So he was here. He might have been outside. I cannot say. I know you spoke to Jeremy, Lisa. Why are you lying to me? Lying? What makes you think that? I'm psychic, like you. You have the gift? Yes. Somehow I doubt that. I think this interview is at an end. It's very clear that I will be unable to help you. Your mind is closed off. You aren't seeking help. You only want to destroy. What? No, I, I only want to... Your very presence is damaging the aura of peace I spent years trying to create. I insist that you leave, and I also insist you give up this line of inquiry. Give up? That's not an option. Not for me. Nevertheless. My friend came to see you, and then he was killed. You can either help me, or you can get in my way. But one way or another, I'm going to find out what happened. I'll be in touch. Smooth exit. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. Come on in. Oh, hi, Rosa. Make yourself at home. I met Lisa Tenzin. Lisa? That's right. Lisa. I almost forgot all about her. I only just met her. I met her through Penelope, like you. Crazy, isn't it? Who knew how big this was? That's why we need to break it wide open, you see? I don't. No. Come on, Rosa. You see them on every street corner. These phony psychics. These rip-off artists. They say they can see auras or even talk to the dead. Imagine that. But it's all a lie. Everyone knows that. Or do we? Why do people keep going to these places? There's something beyond this. Something incredible. I'm so close. Jeremy, I've got something to show you. But before I do, could I see your phone? What, this? Yes. Now take a look here. I don't get it. You've got the same phone as me? No, Jeremy. It's your phone. 
No, it's not. I've got mine right here. I called you, remember? I don't know how you did that, but that's not your phone. This is. You lost it outside of Lisa's. It was in the trash can. That's impossible. I called it. It rang. It's yours. I... No. No, this, this is a trick. Jeremy. No! Just when I'm getting close. You're trying to confuse me. You're trying to make me forget. Forget my appointment. Appointment? Yes, at the High Line. I'm meeting with someone who will explain everything. I'm going. Don't try and stop me. Jeremy? I was here. This is me. I was standing right there. Then I heard a pop, and then... Then I was calling you with a phone that couldn't exist. Somehow, I just knew you were the one who could help me. Like I said, it's what we do. Could you tell us who you were meeting here? I was meeting a man named Gavin. Lisa arranged it. I've heard stories. People change around him. They destroy their lives, sometimes even die. Die like I died. Jeremy, I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. I don't know why, but I feel good. Relieved, even. You'll find him, won't you? You can take over? We'll find him, Jeremy. This won't happen to anybody else. Thank you. I'm ready. There's nothing more to say. I'll talk to him later. This is awkward enough as it is. Jeremy, it's time. This is incredible. All this time... I never imagined. This is your life now. This is my life now. Not quite the village I, is it? Beats writing book reviews. Um, so I guess I should just... Yeah, the light. Just go through it? Just go through it. Well, he's gone. You okay? Sure. Nothing an entire bottle of wine won't fix. Well, you know what they say. Bacchus knows best. Not bad for a night's work? I guess. We still don't know how or why Jeremy was killed. That's not really our problem, is it? Maybe. It's just kind of personal this time. Yeah, I get it. Look, you get some sleep. You might feel different tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. It's been a long night. Joey? Yeah? The old man at the nursing home. Who is he? Get some sleep, Red. was revealed to be Jeremy Sams, a reporter at the City Post newspaper. No suspect is in custody yet. The police issued a statement to say that their investigations are continuing and advise everyone to avoid the High Line after dark. Joey. Yeah? So what do you think? I think that Lisa Tenzin was throwing us a line. She's had some time to stew. Let's shake her and see what falls out. All right, let's get out of here. After you, doll. That's all for now. Yeah. Sorry, I'm 
not seeing clients tonight. Hi, Lisa? Hello? Well, that was rude. Sorry, I'm not seeing clients tonight. Don't go anywhere, Lisa. I need to talk to you. Hello? Damn it. Hey, Joey? What is it this time? Do you think Gavin has killed anyone else, besides Jeremy? We already know he brainwashes old ladies. Who knows what else a guy like that is capable of. That's all for now. Yeah. Full of pseudo-mystic junk. Wouldn't want to read them even if I could. It does nothing for me. That's way too heavy for me to pick up. Then again, so is a pencil. More mystic crap. Just for the atmosphere, I guess. Huh. <laughs> Classy. Huh. <laughs> Classy. No idea who that is. She's staring at that photograph. Is that... Danny? Is that you? How the hell did Lisa get this? None of them mean anything to me. Just your standard cabinet. Looks like an urn for somebody's ashes. What do you want me to do, scare it? Looks like a phone to me. Ah, too far away from red. This is as far as I can go. Nothing on there but junk. What sort of person puts that kind of thing on a shelf? Cuckoo is certainly the word for the broad who lives here. Just a drawer. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. She knows him. That phony knows him. Knows who? Danny Marconi, that's who. Who is Danny Marconi? <sighs> Remember that old guy in the nursing home? She's mooning over a picture of him. I don't like where this is going. Not one bit. Hi again. Hello. Do you have a patient here named Danny Marconi? Yes, we do. Are you a relative? No, I'm just hoping to ask him some questions. Oh, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but he passed away earlier this afternoon. I see. It was peaceful. He just went quietly in his sleep. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, good for him. What do we come here for anyway? Come on, let's blow. I'm sorry to bother you. So, do you want to talk about it? It's ancient history. There's nothing to say. Let's just get a move on. <laughs> 